Hi, it's Heavy Dobby, and I wanted to share one of my favorite treat recipes for P3. It's called No Bake Coconut Almond Butter Bars. And what you're going to need is an eight by eight pan, like this, because that's the size we're gonna end up with, and a mixing bowl, and one cup plus two tablespoons of almond butter without sugar. You're gonna need three quarters of a cup of almond meal and three quarters of a cup of Truvia. And I don't have enough. Um, okay, and three quarters of a cup of um, coconut. And this is very finely grated. And I don't have enough Honey, I'm gonna go next door and borrow a half a cup of Truvia. I'll be back in just a second. You know how people have sugar. Maybe I can find somebody around here that has some powdered Truvia. I need about a half a cup more, so I'll be right back. Hi, um, I was wondering, I ran out of sugar and, wait a minute. Don't I know you? Happy <gasps> Dobby? KB doing HCG? No way. Oh my gosh, I'm making a recipe. Do you want to do it together? Oh, this is so, so exciting. exciting. I can't believe this. Yeah. Look at it. Hi, everybody. Happy Aren't Dobby. we the lucky ones? Me. <laughs> me. Just to meet her. Okay, here we are back. Um, so, Kathy and I, KB doing HCG and Happy Dobby, are going to make a uh, pea-free friendly almond coconut no-bake bars. And they are my go-to treat for myself. And have you ever made them? No, but I'm a heavy dobby, by the way. I just want you to know that. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm like, huh? <laughs> okay, go ahead. We're starstruck with each other. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so, and you know what? My neighbor, she had some powdered Truvia. Can you have guessed it? So we need another half a cup of Truvia. And I'll go over the ingredients again if we want to go ahead and half a cup. So what we have here is one cup plus two tablespoons of almond butter with no sugar. We have three quarters of a cup of almond meal, three quarters of a cup of coconut, no sweeten, and three quarters of a cup of powdered Truvia. And here's another half of a cup. Should I right. put that in there? Yep, that's it. And an eight by eight pan. Now the recipe we'll post at the bottom of the blog has a recipe for the chocolate that we use, but we're going to go the easy way. And I get these from Trader Joe's, and we're going to use two bars. So this is seven ounces of chocolate. One's milk chocolate, and one is dark chocolate, and I melt the two together to make the top. Yeah, they're really good. <laughs> and they're melting now, and I put about a dollop, maybe, maybe a tablespoon of coconut oil in there to melt. And here's how easy this recipe is. Combine all the ingredients and press into the pan. Pour the chocolate over, and you're done. I, I can do that. She can do that. Do we can do that. Tell something. I want to tell you a story. Okay, so we'll start working. Can okay. you talk and work at the same yeah. time? Because I can't. Well, I'm blonde. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so I just pour this in. Yep. All right. So anyway, Debbie calls me and says, Debbie Dobby, sorry, calls me and says, "Hey, bring a what did you call it? A dry measuring cup, dry food." I said, "Yeah," because we're in the condo here, and the only the only measuring cup we have is a liquid. Yeah, she calls it a liquid measuring cup and a dry measuring cup. Me, I use these when the glass one's dirty. <laughs> Just want you to know that that's what a cook I am. Okay, now? Yeah. Okay. Well, look at how easy that is. Just like she said, easy. She doesn't lie. That's how easy it is. And then what you do is you wash your hands and you get your fingers in it. Oh. I do. I, oh, I mean, you can, you. you can start it this way, but I, I yeah. tend to... So we'll be back as soon as this is all mixed up. Woohoo! Yay! All right, you guys, we have mixed up all the ingredients, and I'll show you what that looks like right there. And now we're going to butter, we buttered the pan lightly so that we can just ensure that we can get it. I hope that's lightly. That is. Okay. So then we just dump it in, press it down. 
and then I'll get the melted chocolate. You guys are so jealous of me. I'm cooking with every dog. <laughs> okay, here so we go. Hands clean. Press that down evenly. Ooh, this looks good already. And then I'll just explain about the chocolate. I just put the, the chocolate in a double boiler so that the no liquid, if you get a splatter of water in chocolate, it seasons up the chocolate. And I that's what out the hard way. Yeah. That's what my recipe did that I made a couple days ago. And it wasn't so fun. But this is gonna be perfect. All pressed down. Looking good. And then Ooh. Oh, let's I do it dramatically. Part. Okay, yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Yum. Of course, I'm supposed to be facing it the other way, but no. oh well, sorry. And then you refrigerate it. That looks so good. Now, believe it or not, the recipe says this makes 12 bars. Uh huh. I think not. But uh, I make them smaller because they're rich. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying to. Make, make it last. But the recipe says that 12 bars, one bar is five carbs. Oh, okay. And look, you've got, and this is sugar free. This is sugar free. And like I said, the recipe below will have it so that if you can't get to a Trader Joe's, then you will. Look at that. Yum. I don't want to tilt it too much, but there you go. So good. All right. Now we put this in the fridge or the freezer? Refrigerator till it sets, and then you're good to All go. Right. Our bars are set, and we're gonna taste it and see what we think of it. Okay. Ready? I am so born ready. All right. Okay. Mmm. 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 The first time I made these, I wanted to put peanut butter in them. Peanut butter actually is a legume and it has starch in it. Oh, they don't, they don't need anything else. Mm. And then what you find is the coconut flavors it, like tomorrow, this will be even better. Oh, so good. So good. It's so good for you. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. Yum. Bye.